Yeah, 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 yeah. What up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the One Man. LC the One to be exact. That is, AKA Illmatic One Two Four, and not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school, and my warm up is on the back of my motherfucking chest. But hey, man, I'm back to give my my recap, man, and my reaction of the NBA Finals, man. Game number four, man, and man, it was terrible, man. It was really terrible, man, to see LeBron go out like that, man, and, you know, to see him so tired. You can obviously tell that he was exhausted, man. Everybody could tell that he was exhausted. You know, he was overexerting himself, man, trying to do too much, you know, on the court. And it, it just didn't make no damn sense to keep playing him, especially when they was getting blowed out by, like, 25 points. But, you know, I know he probably wanted to come out there and, you know, at least put up another valiant effort to show – his fans, well, his his uh, home team, well, his home crowd, that you know he gave it he gave it his all, you know, before he he decided to make a decision, or whatever, or et cetera, et cetera. And I'm gonna give y'all my prediction, man, on what I think the outcome is gonna be now that the finals is over, and pretty much, you know, what I'm saying, you know, his stint may be over with the Cavaliers and stuff, so. I'm thinking LeBron, man, I think, I'm thinking he was thinking about retiring, man, for real, for real, because it makes sense, you know what I'm saying, it makes sense, because he did everything, man, he did everything, man, the man been to the finals eight times, you know, he won three out of the, you know, the eight times they've been there, three for five, so, I mean, what more can, what more can he do, you know, at this point, I mean, Pretty much everybody he came out with is older. They on the verge of retiring, so there's nobody really he can pair up with, team up with, really, you know, that's gonna take him to the next level. Now he could go to Philadelphia. That's a, that may be a smart move because they have a, a, a deeper core down there, younger team. They got Joel and B. They got they got some shooters, JJ Reddy, and then they got Ben Simmons now. I really think he don't want to, you know, he don't want to play that role no more as a point forward or a point guard, you know, facilitating the ball, even though he can do that, you know. That's what I'm thinking he may lean towards if, you know, people push for him to stay in the East so it can be competitive because that's what they lean leaning towards, you know, competition and stuff like that because the Warriors, what they did. And plus, it's, the team is bigger. You know, they're bigger, stronger. He got somebody that can... That's in the in the post that can help him, you know, with the boards and stuff like that with bead and then I think they got another big down there and stuff like that, man, in Philly. You know, that's probably the front run I'm thinking. And then the Lakers, I don't know, man, because that's like a restructure of a team. You know what I'm saying? The Bulls is another good team that I think he should really consider because Derrick Rose may come back here. And then we got all those bigs. We got Zach Levine. He had some really some real help as far as scoring. And then we got a good bench. And then the coach is okay too, as well. And plus, this is a, a marquee franchise. You know, it's a top of the line, upper echelon franchise. And plus, Michael Jordan played here. You know. And then we got the best med medical facilities in the world here, in Chicago. Okay. So, and then my last and final. Um, my last and final man, uh, uh, team I think he may join will probably be the Golden State Warriors, man, because I'm thinking the way they structured that team, man, is looking like they the new Chicago Bulls of the 90s, okay? They bigger, stronger, faster, and then it's set up already like that. You got Kevin Durant. He's a small forward, for real. Then if you bring LeBron James there, he can play. Well, I think, no, is Kevin Durant a shooting guard? No, he's a small forward, okay? And if you bring somebody like LeBron there, he can play the two. And then you got all these players, man. You got Steph Curry, the shooting guard. He's Steve Curry from the 90s, the three-point specialist. And then you got all the other role players and stuff. And then you got some good 
players like Draymond Green, he's Dennis Rodman, so and then Steve Kerr is the new Phil Jackson. So it's looking, it, it kind of looked like that, man. It seemed like, you know, and then it's Showtime. It's not L.A., but it is in the in L.A., you know, in California. It's in the Bay Area. So that, that probably will be the most likely best option, okay? Houston is okay, too. But they still will have to add some more pieces, man, to really, you know, structure their team to compete with somebody like the Ghost. I mean, it, it can happen, though, with, with James Harden, but it'd probably be a conflict of interest. But, I mean, well, well it's already structured because you got the point guard, James Harden, the shooting guard. LeBron would be the small forward, okay? But you still will have to add a real good, solid, big, I'm talking about a marquee name. Okay, that's what we're looking for, you know, to help you out for real, for real. So LeBron will have to do all that going in the post. He older now and banging and getting rebounds and all that stuff. Okay, so that's what that's pretty much what have to happen. That's what will really have to happen. You have to have at least three other people on the team, like Golden State, that can help this brother play. Now, you know, there's other options out there too. Okay, see, but I don't think he's going to no restart up team. And if he stay in Cleveland, I mean, they, they was talking about it. Jeff Van Gundy, they were talking about they, they cap space is kind of terrible, you know, because he would get the max. And then, you know, they, they would have to lean towards a, a draft pick or something. But you don't want to roll the dice on a rookie trying to help out LeBron James again, okay? Unless there's some free agent come there and they don't take no money because they ain't going to get enough. All right, so that's what I think, man. But, hey, man, that's my thought, and this is my reaction to the NBA Finals game number four. It was terrible. But, uh, man, I think LeBron should retire, man, for real, for real, and just leave it at that, you know. But if he still think he has some more gas in the tank, hey, man, shout out to you, young bro, for real, for real, man. But I think you should leave, man, on top, you know, so you won't have to go through this again. But if you got good options, you, you got good options out there, man. You can exercise your options. You know what I'm saying? And if you really want to compete and win and you ain't thinking about money, then exercise those options. But I think you should leave the league, man, pretty much. You don't want to ride out like how Kobe did, man. You know, but Kobe went out on top. You know, he went out on top. He retired with his team, and his legacy will always be there, you know, you know, in L.A. You know, because he, he stayed with his team. I think you should stay with your team. And that's it, man. But, hey, man, it's your boy, LCD1, baby. LCD1, be as act that is. A.K.A. Illmatic124. And not the motherfucking gang numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was in high school. And my warm-up jersey is on the back of my motherfucking chair. Like I always say, man, keep it pimping. And avoid slipping because they will get your mother nasty if you slip on that mother. Banana pill, you dig what I'm talking about, man? And like I always say, man, Church on the Reverend God, we gone. But before we leave, man, shout out to my LC Nation, my LC Gang Guy. I need to like my videos on YouTube. Share my videos on YouTube. Comment on my videos on YouTube. Most importantly of all, man, subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. And turn that notification bell button on, man, to get more exclusive dope content from a pimp play against a hustler. All about man, man. And like I always say, man, I'm working out to I get one more set of push-ups. Like I always say, man, church on Reverend God, we gone, man. In a five, a four, a three, a two, a one, church. And them.